Okay, the big thing with Christmas morning is it's already crazy and hectic that we want to make it easy to make breakfast, right? I'm going to share some recipes that you can make very quickly that morning overnight and made ahead the night before. Are you ready? Aprons on, let's go. French toast is a big deal to make. Let's make it the night before. So we're going to make an overnight French toast casserole. Grab yourself a 9 by 13 pan. So take your pan, spray it with cooking spray or rub it with butter. Take your Texas toast or your French bread, and these are one inch slices, and we're going to overlap them in the pan like this. Once that's done, just set it aside and we're gonna continue on our egg mixture. Isn't this egg holder so cool? I got it at, I think, Hobby Lobby. We had chickens and so when their fresh egg came in, I put them in here. Okay, so in a large bowl, we're gonna whisk together eight eggs. Okay, I'm just gonna use the whisk paddles on my beater. Then we're gonna add our milks in. You'll need two cups of half and half and one half cup milk. To this, we're gonna add one and one half teaspoons of vanilla, three tablespoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon each of ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and salt. We're gonna whisk this until it's well combined. Grab your pan of bread, and we're gonna pour this over evenly as best as you can. I always end up coming back in with a spoon. You just wanna get them coated very well. Now, if you forgot to make this and put it in your fridge the night before, don't worry. Just soak them, let them soak the best that you can for a little while, and you're gonna be fine. We're gonna do more to this, but we're gonna do more later. We're gonna let this soak, and you could soak it overnight. Wrap it up and put it in your fridge. Now the next morning, you can come in and let them soak a little more. You could flip your bread very carefully. Okay, once you do that, set it aside and let's make the topping. In a bowl, we're gonna combine one and a half sticks of butter, nice and softened, one cup of light brown sugar packed, one tablespoon of light corn syrup, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one half teaspoon ground nutmeg. We're gonna mix this until it's all nice and combined. Mm, look at this butter. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good over that French toast. Okay, we're gonna take our butter mixture, put it on top, and then we're going to spread it. And you can even spread it in between the slices as well. Like we're gonna ice a cake, basically. Okay, my friends, oh, this is so good. Have your oven preheated to 375 degrees, and we don't need to put a cover on this, and we're gonna bake it for 35 to 40 minutes, or until it gets all puffed and lightly golden. I like to go close to almost an hour. We like the exposed bread crunchy, but it's still gonna be so soft and moist underneath those pieces. If you don't wanna make it in slices like this, you could chop up your bread and do it that way. Sprinkle with some powdered sugar, and you can add whipped topping and fruit to this if you like as well. We love this. Now this is super sweet, you guys, but it's so good. We love these crunchy exposed edges. This is so naughty, but so good and so worth it. For this next recipe, you're gonna wanna grab your slow cooker. All right, are you ready for this one? It's a slow cooker gingerbread oatmeal. Let's spray the inside of our slow cooker. And this is steel cut oats, not quinoa. I really ruined a recipe one time, mistaking quinoa for steel cut oats. Oh my gosh. You're gonna add your two cups of steel cut oats. Then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon ginger, one teaspoon nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cloves, and one half teaspoon of allspice. Then we're gonna need eight cups of water and then a fourth a cup of molasses. Just give this a good mix. It smells so good. So you can cook this while you're asleep. It cooks on low for eight hours, but when you go to peek on Santa in the middle of the night, give it a stir. Or you could cook it on low for three to four hours. Stir it occasionally. Okay, this gingerbread oatmeal is done. It is piping hot. You could add milk into this, half and half, or do what I'm doing and put a little bit of whipped topping and for fun, because it's Christmas, we're gonna add a little bit of Christmas sprinkles. You guys, this is so good, and with all those spices, this is not overpowering at all. It is delicious. Derek, Mr. Toodles, loves this. Enjoy. Do you guys like eggnog? We do, we're a huge eggnog family. 
So let's take our favorite holiday drink, eggnog, and make some eggnog pancakes. Use any eggnog that you like. I just found this eggnog at my Smith's, and it's, co it's from Soy Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Milk Holiday Nog. You guys, it is so good. It's thinner than your normal eggnog, but it's delicious. So if you're looking for something, you know, lactose-free, dairy-free, I mean, this is really good. So to our bowl, we're gonna add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon each of salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and two tablespoons of sugar. We're just gonna whisk these together. Okay, make a well, and then add one and one fourths cup of eggnog. Add three tablespoons of melted butter and an egg. Okay, with our electric mixer, we're going to mix this until it's smooth. Heat up a skillet or your frying pan, coat it with some butter. And we're gonna scoop a fourth cup of the batter onto our griddle. You should serve it up with a little whipped topping and sprinkle it with some cinnamon. Mmm, you guys, this is so good. I will drizzle it with a little bit of syrup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So easy, so good. And there you have it, eggnog pancakes. Perfect for Christmas morning. I hope you try them. We make cinnamon rolls every Christmas morning. This time we're gonna make it a little bit different, kind of make it like a casserole, and we're gonna do it in our slow cooker. It's crock pot cinnamon roll casserole. I didn't say anything about being healthy. We're just going to be so good. I think the only thing that's making it healthy is the maple syrup. Now this one could be considered naughty, but it's amazing. If you can get the big 24 ounce cinnamon rolls or you can just use two 12 ounce containers of cinnamon rolls. We are going to reserve the icing. Woo! If that doesn't wake you up in the morning, I don't know what will. <laughs> okay, we are going to cut these into quarters. Fun fact for you, when I moved to Utah to go to college, my first job was at a Cinnabon, and I probably ate a cinnamon roll every day. So they're all quartered, ready to go. Take whatever oil spray you like and spray your slow cooker. And then you're gonna put a layer at the bottom, and you're gonna cover the whole bottom. Then we'll make our mixture and pour it over and then we'll top it with more of these rolls. Those are all in. Let's make the egg mixture. You'll need four eggs, whipping cream. So you need a half a cup, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and then two teaspoons of the vanilla, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of the nutmeg. So we're gonna beat these until it's all well combined. Okay, we're gonna pour this evenly over. All right, and then we're gonna just put the remaining ones in here. I did buy an extra one to fill in. We can put on top one of the packets of icing or cream cheese, whatever one that you got. Okay, we're gonna cover this and cook it on low for two and a half to three hours or until we see the sides get nice and golden and the rolls are set. Oh my goodness, look at this. So we're gonna drizzle the rest of that, the other packet of icing right onto this. Look at that. This is so good. It's so naughty, but it's amazing. <laughs> I hope you try this recipe. You're either pancakes people, crepes people, or French toast people. Which one are you? Leave it in the comments. All right, I'm gonna share with you a really easy pancake. They're one of our family's favorites. I was actually introduced to German pancakes by my husband, Derek. He loves them. So we love making German pancakes, especially around the holidays. Let's make some really fast, easy German pancakes for Christmas morning. Grab yourself six eggs, and then we're gonna whip those eggs until they're thick and like lemon colored. Add in one cup milk, one half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon to a tablespoon of sugar, and one cup flour. We're gonna mix this until it's all nice and combined. You can butter your nine by 13 pan really good, 
or put five tablespoons of butter down in the pan and put the pan in the oven while it's preheating and it'll melt the butter. Either way, just coat it really good. Pour in your batter. Bake at 450 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. You could serve this up with any of your favorite syrups. Add some fruit, yum. I know the mornings are crazy. The last thing you wanna think about is waking up and also making breakfast with all the chaos. But if we can make them ahead of time and pop them in our freezer, that'll save us so much time in the mornings. So check out these videos here on how to make some make ahead freezable breakfasts for your family. I'll meet you over there. Thanks for joining me, bye.